Biovivacious. I am Sebastian. Biovivacious is a YouTube channel dedicated to clear fundamentals of biosciences and make the subject exciting. We are trying to understand uh, the exact function that gluconeogenesis has in our body. Why is it important that gluconeogenesis must occur in our body? So, try to explain that whole process with the help of this chart. That is, uh, let us look at uh, uh, the animal system. If you look at the animal system, so therefore this is the animal system. So, you will see that lactate is converted to pyruvate. Pyruvate will become, you know, uh, like uh, maybe getting into TCA cycle intermediates and then finally it becomes a phosphine or pyruvate. And then finally through gluconeogenesis, this is the main pathway, through that it becomes um, glucose 6-phosphate. Another possibilities are uh, the, there are several gluconeogenic uh, or glucogenic amino acids. There are about four such glucogenic amino acids, very purely glucogenic amino acids. They also become part of the TCA cycle, gets converted into phosphine or pyruvate, and then finally into glucose 6-phosphate. Glycerol is another molecule. So basically glycerol comes from uh, uh, triacylglycerol metabolism. So this glycerol also becomes part of uh, uh, this pathway. And it becomes glycerol, then it becomes fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. That way it can be converted into finally to glucose 6-phosphate. Now look at the plant system. This is a plant system. In the plants, you know that through carbon dioxide fixation, it will be formed. 3-phosphoglycerate will be formed. And 3-phosphoglycerate also can be converted to glucose 6-phosphate. Now once you have all these molecules ready, then once glucose 6-phosphate is formed, it has got multiple roles to play. One possibility, it will be used for making, maintaining blood glucose level. Glucose 6-phosphate can be converted to glycogen. Glucose 6-phosphate can be converted to starch and stored in plants. Glucose 6-phosphate can be used for synthesizing many disaccharides and many monosaccharides. It can be used for making several glycoproteins for specialized synthesis and another function of glucose 6-phosphate will be to synthesize uh, ribose 5-phosphate. So now this ribose 5-phosphate is the starting material for nucleic acid synthesis. So you can see that if the varieties of function this particular pathway has or it becomes, therefore it becomes, gluconeogenesis becomes a very crucial pathway for uh, um, maintaining all these molecules and sustaining life. So far, we have looked at uh, what is gluconeogenesis and in the rationale for gluconeogenesis. We have also seen in the location where gluconeogenesis will occur and also in the requirements or the precursor molecules and how do we make these molecules available at the location where gluconeogenesis will take place. Now let us look at in the metabolic role of gluconeogenesis. So we know that um, lactate is one of the precursor molecule for gluconeogenesis and lactate will be continuously produced in all anaerobic tissues. So it has to be, we need to get rid of lactate. We need to, uh, what happens if lactate gets accumulated in the body? It can cause metabolic acidosis. So lactate can ionize and it can increase the H plus ion concentration in the blood it will lead to metabolic acidosis. So somehow this has to be removed. So therefore the first function of uh, uh, metabolic role of gluconeogenesis to deal with the uh, uh, control of acid-based balance. Control of acid-base balance. 
so this is effectively done with the help of uh, gluconeogenesis all the lactic acid will be converted back in liver into glucose in the second uh, metabolic role of gluconeogenesis is uh, is to maintenance of uh, maintenance of amino acid balance maintenance of amino acid balance so you know that um, um, many amino acids that are synthesized um, if the a normal concentration of amino acid has to be maintained in the body so all the non-essential amino acid can be synthesized in the body and some amino acids uh, if the degradation of the amino acid has to be balanced so this balancing of amino acid either the excess amino acid is degraded and uh, uh, those amino acids that is in lower concentration is synthesized by liver by through this gluconeogenesis that is because certain intermediates of gluconeogenesis becomes part of uh, in the TCA cycle so you will get a greater understanding how it becomes part of TCA cycle in the future videos otherwise maintenance of amino acid balance is one of the metabolic role of gluconeogenesis the third important role of gluconeogenesis is to provide several biosynthetic precursors we have seen uh, earlier the beginning of this video that uh, if the glucose 6 formed is the starting material for several biomolecules like glycoproteins uh, like starch uh, disaccharides monosaccharide uh, glycogen it is a starting material for synthesizing ribose 5-phosphate and nucleic acid so therefore if the gluconeogenesis provides these biosynthetic precursors so that way now you will look at gluconeogenesis with a new vigor with an improved outlook that it is not just the reversal or it is not only to synthesize glucose but it has got multiple roles in the body so therefore your perception of gluconeogenesis should be changed so i believe that you have enjoyed the session on introduction to gluconeogenesis in the next video we will be talking about the real pathway of gluconeogenesis.